Hi, and welcome to the Market Alert for Wednesday, the 9th of November 2022. So US stocks gained ahead of US midterm election results with the price action choppy amid crypto turmoil and uh, higher on the overnight once more. Dollar and yields fall into midterm while crypto plunges on exchange anxiety. And uh, news. Uh, yesterday, a bit of a cock up. I said that we were getting the CPI numbers today, but it's not. It's actually uh, tomorrow, Thursday. In all the excitement of the midterms, uh, I didn't actually check the actual day. So tomorrow, and we're forecast obviously to be uh, lower there. And if it is, guess what? The markets will be pumped to the upside. Uh, the overnight results so far for the midterm elections are still pointing to uh, the Republicans. Uh, taking the uh, the Senate, but uh, we'll have to wait and see when we what happens throughout the day. And also, I've noticed that they've said it could take a couple of weeks. However, that said, the markets are still being moved to the upside, which we'll look at uh, now. So another day in stock paradise as the market uh, continue to be moved to the upside, taking out the resistance to the left in the Dow for yesterday. Now resistance was thirty three oh seven five and. Uh, yeah, the market being pumped back up to the high over to the left there, which is for the 26th of August. Let's just uh, put that in there. So we've got another upside target, and that is uh, 33,463. I hate to say this, but I'm going to say it. I wouldn't be at all surprised if we don't go back to the all-time highs uh, by Christmas when you have a look at the uh, the bigger time frames in the monthly. We've put on thousands of points over the last few uh, weeks. And uh, we could certainly head back to uh, the highs. Let's just have a, a quick look just to show how this is not actually fantasy land. So from the high to where we're currently uh, trading is 3,750 points. And then let's go back to the current move in the daily chart that we've got. And let's just have a look and see how far we've come from the low to yesterday's high. And we've come up uh, 4,765. So it's only the same distance again to go back to the all-time highs. And uh, given the insanity of the, the world and everything else at the moment, everything else is falling apart, but the stock market is going up. And like I say, tomorrow's CPI numbers, if they come out lower, then that's going to hint towards the Fed pivoting with rates, despite the fact that everything else is still above those uh, levels. We know the whole thing's a rig game. But it gives the excuse to pump the market back to the upside. So despite the fact that we're seeing a bit of weakness at the moment, uh, um, as yesterday, market pumped up then back. You know, you can see what the game is here. Get it through today's high. That's uh, the goal. How many days up now? Uh, barring the uh, interest rate increase there where we had three days below the moving average. Uh, we've had two days now above uh, yesterday's, sorry, the previous day's low. And uh, we're nowhere near it in uh, the 30-minute chart at the moment. So it's several hundred points uh, below this, isn't it? Let's just have a, a quick uh, measure up. So where we're trading to at the moment, again, ballpark uh, 319 points uh, below this. So not, uh, not a problem at all. We're just going to stay above the DP and then we can uh, charge on up to the upside. And if the Republicans come out uh, and fare better than the Democrats, then it will be vertical because the market likes uh, Republicans as much as the market likes Tories over here. Uh, they're more for it. So, uh, yeah, uh, we're moving up. Just, like I say, it's insane. I know it's insane, but you've got to trade what uh, you're actually seeing in the markets going up at the moment. Now, if it does change, the sentiment changes, and it does go, it'll go with a bang. But at the moment, you try going short. I attempted it yesterday, and you just can't. You just can't hold a position. It has to be on the buy side to actually hold or, or get any sort of uh, profits out of that. It will switch, and you'll get the odd days where it does go down, and you can make money. But at the moment, the previous day's low is very important for these markets, and that's why you should keep an eye on mill. As is the high. And I've mentioned this before, the high and the low are very important. They don't want the market going below the low and they'll do whatever they can to drive it through the previous day's high. German DAX above the 200 MA now and uh, sitting there quite comfortably on the overnight. So we'll just have a look at the 30 minute chart. 
But before we do that, let's just have a look, see how many points this market's put on from the low to yesterday. We're now up at nearly 2,000 points on the DAX within uh, four weeks, uh, which is uh, quite amazing to say the least. So barring a pullback, let's have a look at the 30 minute chart yesterday. Look at it straight up, one red bar, one bar close below the five bar moving average. And obviously uh, last night we came back to the 50 bar moving average and the market uh, sideways. But the DP there, the high is within a stone's throw, the low is miles away compared to the upside. So again, when you look at the daily chart, uh, not a problem. Let's have a look at the monthly chart of the DAX as we did with the Dow. And uh, let's just uh, move this over and let's have a look, see how far we're off the uh, high with, uh, or the all time high for the DAX to where we're currently trading. And uh, we're only 2,741 points, so a um, bit more on the uh, of a struggle to the upside than the Dow, uh, for sure, because we've only got two, just under 2,000 points and 3,000 to the high. But uh, don't discount it. Don't discount it, because uh, like I say, you've got to keep in mind we are living in a mad world at the moment, and anything to uh, get the markets back on the highs to give the voters the comfort that their pensions aren't going down and they're still making money on their portfolios that is being used. Now, of course, when the full results in, and again, depending on what they'll be, we just have to wait and see. But at the moment, there's no stop in the market uh, moving to the upside, barring a few days on the downside, which uh, you will get, as uh, we've seen here. Big move to the upside there. 200 needs to hold in the daily for the DAX. And uh, yesterday, just have a quick look in the uh, five minutes as you can see there it's just insane just keep moving the markets to the upside and that's exactly what they did every time the market became oversold they just brought back into it and then moved it back to the upside and it's fascinating to watch how they will absorb all of the orders at uh, the critical points as well and just keep moving it to the upside absolutely fascinating at the moment so there we go. Um, that's the German DAX. Let's move on to the S&P. S&P not looking as strong. Uh, that's for sure. Managed to get through the 50 EMA yesterday. Traded up towards the 78, just above uh, or below the 62 at the moment. But sitting on that uh, 50 EMA in the 30 minute charts, uh, you can see that uh, we had a bit of a sell off last night to the DP. We soon brought it back and that's another sign that they don't want the market lower. So off the 50 EMA back up to the highs is uh, uh, potentially uh, there. Uh, might shake it out a bit more first before uh, they then move it higher. That seems to be the pattern as well at the moment. So with the German DAX in the morning, send the market lower, find support, turn it around and then just keep uh, pumping the market to the upside. FTSE also up uh, sharply over the last uh, few weeks as well from the low now and we're up uh, just under uh, just over 516 points massive move there as well nearly uh, uh, 8% about 8% 7 8% uh, increase and uh, you can see there we've got that 78 in the 200 MA still in place there 30 minute chart a bit choppy sideways down on the uh, news last night whatever it was that brought the market down uh, to the DP level uh, but again there's your high 7,318 for the FTSE. Currencies sideways at the moment probably waiting for the CPI numbers uh, tomorrow in the daily they're sideways but of course in the intraday uh, we saw a nice move down yesterday uh, all the way down to uh, the 200 MA market found support had your retracement and then it was brought back up last night and then down again uh, immediately as the dollar uh, gained uh, its strength again. In the pound, sideways in the daily, as we can see, we've actually come back 89% uh, there as well, haven't we? So bang on it. Yeah, bang on it at 115.90 uh, there. Bit of weakness uh, overnight, sideways, DP, very important, 50 EMA above the close back to the high that's dependent upon the dollar so let's have a look at the US dollar and yesterday we double bottomed in the US dollar finding some strength uh, overnight through the uh, 78 and 89 we can get rid of those now and see if we've got any strength to come back to the upside 
these are the upside targets. The first thing is going to be the 5 and the uh, 50 EMA uh, for sure there. The 30 minutes, this is what happened last night. The dollar fell out of bed, uh, causing uh, problems. And that's why we saw the GBP, uh, JPY moving higher. And then as it started to uh, find support, the market uh, then uh, switched, as we saw in the GBP. And the metals markets too. Uh, so DP needs to be taken out 50 EMA in the 30 minute and then head back towards the high. Meanwhile in the metals, uh, silver allowed to move higher during yesterday's session back through uh, 21. Let's just have a look at the 30 minute chart. 21.50 we got to and uh, the market uh, then saw the selling coming into this at uh, well, well, when the dollar started to find support. So uh, there you can see the selling coming back into this market. But a good move for uh, the silver market yesterday, as it was for gold. Big move yesterday in the gold market, which I'll show you in just a second. In the 30-minute chart, bang up to 89, and uh, the market stopping there. And in the 30-minute chart, big spike to the upside. I don't know what this news was, um, but obviously I saw the markets moving lower and whatever. And I had a look around, couldn't find anything. But uh, yeah, the gold put in a pile in it on yesterday. So let's see if it can actually get above the close and the high today. But that's going to be dependent uh, on the dollar finding support and also the CPI numbers tomorrow. If they are uh, rigged, as uh, we can see, they're going to be at uh, 7.9 and 8.2 is uh, the previous 7.9 then uh, the metals will come under the, uh, the, the the monkey hammer and get battered to the downside. Okay, that's it for this one. We're still waiting for uh, what's happening with the midterms. Um, but uh, like I say, if the Republicans win, it's good news for uh, the markets. That's all I can say on it. Despite everything else that's going on, it's all being ignored. It's just a matter of keep pumping the markets uh, to the upside at this time. Okay, that's it for this one as ever thanks for watching see you in the next one